New Year. You don't have to be scratching your head, wondering if you're going to have a job in the New Year. God will guide you and lead you and give you a new life and a new purpose. Find a local church. Find a place where you can worship and study the Bible. It's better than drugs. It's better than sleeping around. It's better than getting drunk. It's better. Jesus is better every time. I used to take drugs. I used to sleep around. I used to fight. I committed attempted armed robbery. But I found Jesus. It's a better life. And it's a life that you need today. It's a life that can change you today. It's a life of love, a life of hope, a life of peace, a life of joy, a life that can set you free. You said, Jay, he don't love me. Jay, he ain't gonna forgive me. He's gonna put his arms around you and he's gonna love you. He's gonna put his arms around you and forgive you. He's gonna put his arms around you and show you he cares for you. God is gonna put his arms around you and show you how much he loves you. If you only turn to him, he'll clean you and he'll put his arms around you and tell you how much he loves you. Say, so, Jay, you're a Bible basher, you're outdated. Listen, if I'm out of date, is it better to get drunk? Is it better to get drunk? Or is it better to believe in Jesus? Jesus is more relevant than getting drunk. Jesus is more relevant than swearing. Jesus, Jesus, don't swear, my dear. No, my dear. No, 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 no. Don't swear like a gangster rapper, my friend. Jesus died. Jesus died on the cross for you, ma'am. He gave his life for you, shed his blood for you, and he gave his life on that cross and died for you on that cross and shed his blood. I'm offering you abundant life. Jesus says, I give you abundant life. He's not here to condemn you. He's not here to rub your nose in it. He's not here to condemn you. He wants to give you life. He wants to give you peace. He wants to give you joy. He's alive. Muhammad died and stayed dead. Buddha died and stayed dead. Charles Darwin died and stayed dead. Jesus died and rose again. He's alive and you can cry out to him. And you can say, Lord, forgive me. He'll forgive you and he'll be merciful to you. He'll be kind to you. He'll be gentle to you. He said, Jay, it's all in your head. There's no argument. I'll give you some evidence. I bet not one person can argue with me on this argument. You say you don't believe in God. Okay, I'll give you an argument that nobody here can defeat. If you want evidence for the existence of God, I'll give you an argument that nobody here can defeat. It's all that we know, the material. It's all that we know, the material. Energy and matter is material. But logic, the law of non-contradiction is immaterial. How do we get how do we get the immaterial? Let me finish. Let me finish. How do we get the immaterial? I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you. Let me finish this argument. I'll come back to you. Let me come back to you in a second. Logic is immaterial. That shows you that there are immaterial things. God is immaterial. So Hey, what does that mean? Sir, 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 over to you, sir. Sir, do you want to ask the question? Sir, 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 s